and welcome back to Black Excellist. Today's video will take us on a journey through the top 25 most populous cities through an African-American lens. Welcome to Black Excellist. This is where we celebrate Black excellence, achievement, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Each city we are featuring has its ups and downs, but we can confidently say they all proudly celebrate African-American heritage, offering a tapestry of history, art, and community. Join us again as we uncover the rich and diverse tapestry of culture that defines the top 25 blackest cities in the United States. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 25, Newark, New Jersey. Our journey starts at Newark, the most populous city in New Jersey, and home to a sizable African-American community. For multiple reasons, however, Newark went from being one of the largest cities in the nation and New Jersey's economic driver to a struggling urban area with high crime rate, failing schools, and deep poverty in just a span of a few decades. Number 24, Hampton, Virginia. Our next destination is Hampton, Virginia. This is a charming city known for its historical significance and beautiful beaches. Almost half of its residents are black and it's one of nine independent cities along Virginia's coast that make up what they call Hampton Roads. Located on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay, it boasts an abundance of wonderful schools and outdoor activities, as well as plenty of shopping, dining, and entertainment options. Number 23, Cleveland, Ohio. Next, we venture to Cleveland. This Midwestern city seems to always get a bad rep. Is it justified? Depends on who you ask. Located on Lake Erie, Cleveland is a good place to live for anyone who desires a diverse urban area for settling down without being overextended financially. But let's face it, the wind off Lake Erie will cut right through you. Number 22, Trenton, New Jersey. Welcome to Trenton, New Jersey, where almost half of its residents are African-American. While Trenton suffers from high poverty, its convenience to major urban centers and major highways allows for an abundance of job opportunities. The region's educational resources also uplift the residents throughout the city, while its fairly affordable homes are one of its biggest advantages. Number 21, Savannah, Georgia. Let's go down south to Savannah, Georgia, a city renowned for its historic charm. Savannah is known for its cuisine and its Gullah Geechee culture. Located near the coast, Savannah boasts of several beautiful beaches within a short driving distance. But we will be remiss if we didn't highlight its challenges in the form of humidity, hurricanes, and tourist crowds. Number 20, Portsmouth, Virginia. We now find ourselves in Portsmouth, Virginia, the first city on our list that has eclipsed the majority black milestone. This historic seaport town is centrally located within Hampton Roads, and despite its comparatively smaller size next to the other Virginian towns, the Portsmouth neighborhood offers a wide variety of activities, including an assortment of quirky shops, eclectic, locally owned restaurants, and a spectacular waterfront along the busy Hampton Roads Harbor. Number 19, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Louisiana's capital city, Baton Rouge, is next on our list. Baton Rouge has the energy of a major metro area thanks to world-class universities and research centers while still being able to maintain a small town feel. Baton Rouge residents are passionate about sports and politics, and they share an unending love of music. This charming city offers opportunities typically found in a big city, along with the welcoming warmth of a close-knit community. Number 18, Mobile, Alabama. We will remain in the Southeast and take a visit over to Mobile, Alabama. Mobile can be a great place to move to if you prefer a smaller city. Additionally, the area is a great place to raise a family because of its high diversity and the low cost of living is a plus. But the city's population has been in a decline, unemployment has been high, and wages tend to remain low. Number 17, Augusta, Georgia. Located on Georgia's eastern border across the Savannah River from South Carolina, Augusta is often voted as one of the best places to live or retire in Georgia. 
This historic town is a dynamic destination filled with outdoor adventures, historic sites, a thriving arts community, and so much more. There are quite a few historical attractions that allow you to immerse yourself in art and culture. Or you can indulge in the locally owned restaurants that serve up a nice helping of classic Southern fare. Number 16, Macon, Georgia. Since we're already in Georgia, we just have to travel about two hours southwest before settling in Macon, Georgia. This charming southern town has won over plenty of new residents due to its rich history, stunning architecture, and a heaping of southern charm. The African-American community and culture have always been progressive in Macon, and the black citizens are devoted to preserving the black heritage in the town. Number 15, Flint, Michigan. Anytime anyone speaks on Flint, Michigan, there is no bigger story than their water contamination crisis. Nonetheless, Flint receives high marks in terms of cost of living and housing affordability. And amazing enough, the Midwest city was recognized as one of the 150 best places to live and retire in America. But crime and its low marks in the area of desirability are just a handful of issues that city leadership is working to tackle. Number 14, Mount Vernon, New York. Next up, we have Mount Vernon, New York. This vibrant city has the highest percentage of African-American population in the state of New York. This delightful community is home to many amazing attractions and residents enjoy its strong economy, beautiful parks, and wonderful attractions and historic sites. Number 13, New Orleans, Louisiana. Join us on a trip to New Orleans. Located near the Gulf of Mexico, the Big Easy is popular for its music and cuisine. Considered one of the most affordable big cities in the country, but the economy is not great and wages tend to be low. Living in New Orleans is truly an experience because of how lively New Orleans feels. But since tourism is the city's lifeline, the top employers cater to the service and hospitality sectors rather than technology and bioscience industry. Number 12. Shreveport, Louisiana. While we're still down in Louisiana, let's step over to Shreveport, Louisiana. Located in the northwest corner of the state, it is home to a variety of restaurants, shops, entertainment venues, and outdoor activities. Unlike New Orleans, Shreveport has a distinct identity that stems from a fusion of Southern traditions rather than Cajun and Creole customs. It has grown into the cultural and economic center of the region formed by the intersection of Northeastern Texas, Southern Arkansas, and Northwest Louisiana. Number 11, Baltimore, Maryland. Our next destination is Baltimore, Maryland. This big city with a small town vibe is packed with exciting restaurants, craft breweries, museums, and familiar faces. It's a popular home base for DC commuters, young professionals, and folks looking for big city amenities. But parts of Baltimore are crime-ridden and the schools, citywide, certainly have their fair share of challenges. Number 10, Miami Gardens, Florida. As we journey to our next location, just 16 miles north of Miami, we break into the top 10 of this list with Miami Gardens. Best known as the home of the Miami Dolphins, what we have here is an enclave of international food, peaceful parks, and welcoming residents. The city's demographic makeup is racially dominated by the African-American community, which accounts for 61%. Number 9, Memphis, Tennessee. Let's mosey over to Memphis, Tennessee. Home of the Blues is a good place for young professionals and families due to its affordable housing and excellent job market. Well-known worldwide as the birthplace of rock and roll, Memphis is famous for its soul, blues, and rock music that first originated from its city streets. But unfortunately, Memphis is the poorest city in Tennessee and ranks second in poverty of all U.S. cities. Number 8. Montgomery, Alabama Since we're still in the Southeast, let's pay a visit to Montgomery, Alabama. In recent years, some substantial money and efforts have been put into revitalizing the downtown area. Although Montgomery's cost of living is good, and education has a prominent role in the capital city. Its job market is not as accommodating and the poverty rate is almost twice the national average. Number 7. Southfield, Michigan Our next destination, Southfield, Michigan, is a lively city located in the Great Lakes region and is home to several attractions, outdoor activities, plenty of museums, galleries, and performance venues. 
As with any city, some neighborhoods should be avoided due to crime, but Southfield is a diverse, vibrant town if you don't want to move too far away from your roots in Detroit. Number six, Birmingham, Alabama. The majority of black Americans live in the Southeast and Alabama has its fair share of black majority cities. But for the sixth spot, we're focused on Birmingham, which gives you all the perks of city life while maintaining the charm and proximity to nature that you'd find in a smaller town. Residents say that Birmingham is underrated with all of the significant benefits it offers from higher education, culture, and a thriving job market. Number five. Albany, Georgia. Albany breaks into the top five of our list of black majority cities with its community atmosphere as well as a variety of opportunities for residents. The town is home to numerous entertainment options, fun for the family, educational experiences, and many incredible restaurants and eateries. But unfortunately, Albany is by no means perfect as it receives low scores in education and crime. Number four, Detroit, Michigan. It's no secret that Detroit has seen brighter days, but unlike other struggling cities, they are putting up a valiant effort to do something about it. Famous for being the automotive center of the world and its iconic music scene, Michigan's most populous city offers a large city with a low cost of living, affordable housing, and vibrant nightlife. Number three, Lauderhill, Florida. As we head back down to the Panhandle State for the number three spot, we land in Lauderhill, Florida, a cultural hub with noteworthy attractions. Awarded the All-America City title, the city and its diverse population showcase how America is a melting pot of different cultures and backgrounds. With a black population of 80%, the predominant African-American culture reflects in the many festivals and other cultural events. Number two, East Orange, New Jersey. Standing in at number two, we enter into East Orange, New Jersey. With close proximity to Newark Airport and an easy commute into New York City, East Orange is a smaller community where you can enjoy the benefits of a large city. There are numerous community activities, great outdoor activities, and the excitement of four full seasons of weather. But East Orange has its challenges. Residents have difficulties finding affordable housing, school systems receive low marks, and crime spills over from the surrounding urban centers. Number one, Jackson, Mississippi. Topping off our list at the number one spot is Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson has the highest percentage of African-American population in the country at a whopping 82%, a true chocolate city. Before the 2020 census, that distinction was held by Detroit. But unfortunately, Jackson is one of the poorest cities in the United States with a staggering poverty rate of 32%. Jackson's middle class, both black and white, moved out to escape the urban decay and rising crime that started in the 1980s. This left less revenue to maintain the infrastructure, but Jackson offers the amenities and diverse communities of a large city while still delivering on the hospitality unique to Mississippi. It is generally safe with a small town feel and overall neighborly atmosphere. We appreciate the fact that you stayed until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.